Welcome back gamers. Today I'm going to make a new pair of flint napping tools. If you don't know, flint napping is a controlled breaking of rocks to make tools like arrowheads. I made these a while ago and they work alright, but there's a couple of modifications I want to make. And also, I want something that's a little more in style. And I thought this deer antler that was kindly donated to me would do just a trick. But before we get too carried away, remember, if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is cut my pieces to length, and I'm gonna do that on the bandsaw. Now that they're cut to length, I can move over to the cheesy little belt sander to sand down any rough spots and shape the ends so I can fit these copper pipe caps on. For what I believe to be called the bonker, I have a one inch pipe cap. And for the pressure flaking tool, I got a little half inch pipe cap. Oh gosh, it stinks. That's better. Oh, that was a mistake. There we go. Alrighty, now that I got the caps fitted, I need to weight the cap of the bonker. On the last set I made, I just filled the cap about halfway up with lead and then melted it. But I want this one to be a little more rigid when I'm smacking big rocks with it. So I'm going to make a little copper wafer out of this quarter inch plate to sit at the bottom of the cap. And then maybe I'll melt some lead on top of that. Now that we got our little copper chunk to fit in here perfectly, I'm going to drive it the rest of the way down with a punch before I melt some lead in there. And I don't have a proper punch, so I'm just going to use this piece of wood. And I'm going to be melting the lead outdoors to uh, stop any further brain damage. Now that our lead's cooled off in our cap, I'm going to sand the inside of it to help the epoxy stick. 
I'm also gonna buff the outside real quick because it got discolored from the heat. So today is tomorrow and the epoxy is finished curing and that means that this guy's done and all we have to do to the pressure flaker is drill a 3 16 hole in the end of it so we can uh, slide our little 3 16 copper rod in. Just like that, we're finished. Let's go up to the hills and try them out. If you made it this far, you might as well give that subscribe button a good smack and make sure you check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.